Hi guys, it's Noah here and I'm just giving you a quick demo of my new 3D synthesizer app that I've been working on. Uh, it is a bit rough. Currently it's a work in progress but I think I'm at the stage now where I'm ready to get people to test it. Check it's recording. Yep. So essentially it's a 3D audio workstation or synth or sampler uh, you can move around the space and you can move objects uh, the first thing you want to do is add some sounds which you open the sound palette up here you can either just drag and drop sounds like this or you can use this file browser to select a folder. For instance, here we've got a folder of breaks, and then you can pick a break. Let's give it a nice amen. And just add that here. Okay. So from here, you can listen to your various sounds. And you, all you need to do is just drag one like so and then you can just start the sound playing by pressing space and clicking it and you'll hear it spatialized That's just the basic system. You can then cu customize the sound further with the device window, which you can open up here, or just by right clicking the speaker. And what this is, is a familiar kind of control panel for the sound. I have a loop here. You can see the playhead as it moves along the waveform can change the gain or the pitch which interestingly goes in reverse when it's in negative I mean, you can't really hear it on that but delete them by pressing backspace. So the next thing to look at is the effects panel which you just open up here and this gives you a bunch of effects like chorus, filter with res resonance Reverb, an echo, and a high pass. So that shows the basic sound shaping and you can easily duplicate and then change the pitch.
So the next thing to look at is the sequencer, which is a little bit dodgy and does need a lot of work, but the basic components are there. So you set the start time, well, you have the loop length. I mean, this needs working on really, it needs a proper timeline where you can click and place the sounds in time, but that's even the next things to work on. So you set the start time and the attack, decay and the length. So if we put it to start on beat one, no attack, or maybe a two second attack, three second decay, and a length of four or five. Uh, no, let's go for one. Nice short. I think this is the sustain. And loop it, and then I need to bring this up a bit. And you can just combine sounds. So let's bring a sign. see the basic I mean a lot of it could be cleaned up but it's still early days the, yeah the core sort of components uh, another thing to look at is the mixer so here you can sign the mixer channel so you'll put Quiet on one and the sign on two. So it's just easy to group. Also have a nice pitch slider here. So that's the mix. So we will have a master section. Uh, I did work on a section which had compressors and EQs and mastering stuff, but I took it out for the moment. And the final couple of things to look at is the recorder, which is up here. Also got a light and dark mode settings to change the graphic quality. So you can run it on quite old machines still. Yeah, the recorder. So you can record files. So let's stop the sequencer. And then do a recording. Yeah, all of this needs to be refined really, but you get the idea. And then stop that. And stop the recording. And then you can see a recording there. Open the folder, and here's your recording. Let's move it in here, and then you can even bring that recording back in. And yeah, <coughs> that's basically it. Uh, you can also load and save projects.
my newest project. And then create a new project. And then load in the old one. And then it should just work. And then this is another experimental feature or thing that I'm working on, which is sort of physics based. It's like collision physics. Yeah, it'd be good to mess around with the pitch. But yeah, this is kind of work in progress. Anyway, that is everything I think for now. This will be sort of a panel so you can easily drag out different wave shapes, but this is still not finished. Anyway, thanks for watching and follow this project for more information and updates.